Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, why am I not able to get to this? Um, no. Yes, there's one person, but yeah, the first request I actually I received is doing this. And it just took me a very long time to do it because other things will come up. Um, someone asked me to give my opinion about the differences between the communism, socialism, and Marxism. Um, now, first of all, other countries have a, uh, countries like ours actually have a mixed economy. Um, some parts are, uh, some parts of, uh, uh, the U.S. economy is, uh, a, bit, a little bit of socialism, because we have, we do have social security, we have, uh, tax paid, uh, tax paid, uh, police, uh, departments, tax paid, and tax, uh, payer based, um, fire department, all that, basically everything that's community orientated is tax, uh, paid. Um, social security, however, which is what I am on, is paid by, um, a payroll tax, so that's not necessarily a um, a socialist thing, but it does come out of, it does come out of people's paychecks when they get paid. Uh, their employer is supposed to take out just a little bit uh, to go towards that. Um, anyway, uh, I've uh, pretty much the capitalist the capitalistic society that the U.S. is. Anything that is against it is a bad thing. Like um, anything that's not a capital, a, a capital-based uh, or capitalist-based um, economic system, um, is considered like a Russia or you know, going back to how Russia was at one point in time when they had, but they called themselves communism, a communist when they weren't actually communist. Now there was, now there is um, China or whichever uh, uh, Asian country that I think it's China. Um, the interesting thing about it is the very socialist uh, policies that people like a Bernie Sanders and now like a Howie Hawkins are advocating for. These countries actually provide for their citizens. The U.S. does not call and does not provide basic health care uh, uh, free as far as, as far as a term of, um, of um, as far as like uh, you know the front desk you, you don't have to hand them a uh, a uh, a, a um, insurance card, and they they charge insurance. They basically it's like okay, they they charge the government, uh, what was a which was a um, a service they provided. Here in the United States, you have insurance companies, you have medical uh, insurance companies, you know, uh, things like that. Um, they get they, they get charged. They then take money from you each month in order to pay for the services to a certain degree. Um, health insurance is the same way. Um, health insurance, except in health insurance, you pass away, your family gets uh, pretty much a percentage of the money you paid into uh, back. Um, communism basically was started uh, to help communities, communities within that country. Uh, whether it would be uh, make, uh, growing food or selling it or they would, they would pretty much share the overall profits and share the labor that it took to grow the, grow or produce that product. Socialism is all is basically a social a social um, a social based economic. Uh, they try to uh, make sure that the social aspect of the country is Ah, fucking it up, I'm, I, I'm, I'm finding. So actually, you know what? I trust the little phone here. Let me see if I can find communism. It is a political theory derived from Karl Marx, who actually advocated for no class and no state. Um, yeah, this, this one is not right. It, it states that he, he advocated for class war. He did not. Leading to a society in which all property is publicly owned and each person works that is paid according to the ability and needs. That would be capitalism as far as the work goes overall. Except depending on uh, what state you're, you're living in, um, your pay or what you get back is not as big as what the, the owner of the said business gets. Um, so, yeah, yeah I, I don't think that, that interpretation of Marxism is right. Uh, but. 
that's one little part out of it though. So, I mean, Marxism as a whole, from what I've been reading, other than just the, this little part, was basically he, he wanted to abolish everything as far as state uh, classes, stuff like that, and have property be uh, owned by the people. Uh, as far as the general area, everybody shared the property. You know, everybody lived on the property. No fee, no nothing like that. They shared that. That's what basic communism. That's what basic communism is. Um, let's see, socialism. Let's see, this is the right one. A political and economic theory of social organization, which advocates that means advocates that the means of production, distributed exchange, and exchange should be owned and regulated by the community as a whole. So it's not to the point where the right wing would have you think that it was the government that, that, that controlled all the means of production. And it's not that at all. It's the people who control that. And kind of co-ops and sorts. That, that, that's their way. Um, let's see. Oh, there's another one. Well, I had, I was, I had looked up uh, Venezuela and all that other stuff because they are, I, I, they are the what the, the Republicans want to call the means testing of a communism. The problem with that is the fact that because so many people try try to take advantage of the resources they have, of their land, and just their industries, uh, the United States decided to because they couldn't buy their way into the country, like you know, uh, by companies based in that country, because they decided to nationalize their resources, which means that they would uh, sell to their people by the by the company that is owned by the, by the country, rather than try to sell their products uh, with an uh, open market first, then sell it to their people. Um, so what would happen usually is the United States would put uh, embargoes on it, uh, and they would go for. Um, Sanctions, which uh, weakened the people there as far as the government and the, the their currency was down to shit. In fact, our money was actually worth more there than their money were was, which to me is is total bullshit. You shouldn't you shouldn't be doing that to a fucking country. Negotiation, negotiation, negotiations. Don't sit there and try to go behind their back and either take out their their democratically elected president or like appoint someone to that. That's stupid. You shouldn't be doing that. Um, that's what Donald Trump and that's what Obama and that's what other presidents have done in the past is try to undermine that uh, country um, and by way of taking away uh, you know, their ability to sell their products in the open market. Uh, that is one of the drawbacks of capitalism. Uh, communism, socialism, all that stuff. It wouldn't have been up to military uh, coup. It wouldn't have been up to people trying to and have a revolution of sorts in, in their country. It would have been them having the option of trading openly on the market and getting the best price for the product. But because of the fact that our state, our United States, has to be number one to a certain degree of getting patents about um, uh, licensing and stuff of that nature, which is what they've done as far as Saudi Arabia and other countries uh, to be able to sell their stuff here. Uh, they, have, they weren't able to do that with Venezuela or Cuba or other places like that, so they decided to tax the crap out of the currency, uh, tax the crap out of imports, exports, and just drive their economy out of business. So that's that's capitalism for you. I would much rather live in a mixed economy, capitalism mixed with socialism, mixed with communism, mixed with Marxism. Capitalism would at least create a free market system. But it would be regulated by the people who live in that country and who stuff of that nature. I mean, but I mean, that's that, that's how I'm looking at all, at all of it right now. Um, capitalism is fucked overall, but with mixtures of the other three, it could be livable. The uh, United States uh, has shown that it cannot deal with the pandemic. The the president decided to purchase the rights uh, to sell or uh, buy those products, uh, N95 and others, and sell it to the states, but at a, above the market value. I mean, some states do not afford that. So anyway, 
that's my opinion about these things. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if I'm on ball. Let me know if I'm on a rocker, whichever the fuck you want to call it. Either way, this is my, that that would be my opinion of all war theories. Peace out, and I will see you tomorrow on my live feed on Facebook. Subscribe to this channel. Uh, become a Patreon, one dollar or whatever. Or if you want to help uh, fund merchandise uh, for the grants of the progressive, um, quote uh, filling filling the gaps. Um, to donate to uh, paypal.me slash a uh, couple C web dip and that money that is donated will go towards uh, merchandise. Uh, whoever um, donates the most actually gets a percentage off of the first shirt or whatever merch I'm able to buy. Anyways, thank you uh, for watching. Um, again, let me know if I'm on my rocker or if I'm on the point. Peace out for now.